hi guys and welcome to another of my video it's a breakdown uh, video for my newest project but before we continue I need to apologize for the lack of the updates or I didn't uh, replace some of your emails so the reason is that my GPU died actually this project was pretty much completed I needed just to test it on the newest version of the Unreal 4 and I decided to play some Civilization 6 and my GPU died so Civilization 6 killed my GPU so I bought, bought a new GPU and it was dead on arrival actually 24 hours and it was dead so I returned that GPU and store it's pretty bad store I waited for I don't know 40 days for a new GPU and my old GPU was r 290 x I did some pretty cool stuff in Unreal with that engine, uh, with that uh, GPU, and it never overheats, so it will never show any artifacting, even when push push it to the limits. But Civilization 6 obviously is pretty demanding game. Uh, anyway, uh, we will proceed with this uh, model. Uh, this is a new helicopter blueprint system and new model. I call it Air Cobra. This is the standard Navy skin, and currently it's uh, equipped with uh, rockets. And uh, I did some extensive research for this vehicle and uh, modeled a pretty detailed cockpit. This is uh, actually pilot's position and this is the gunner position so the next skin is the army green skin uh, I included this skin because uh, uh, I like it to have some variations so the standard green skin it don't look too bad and this is the digital camo skin for desert operations and yeah, you can use it in desert or maybe even in the woodland. It looks uh, very nice. And this is the standard uh, navy skin, but with some decals. I I really really wanted to do that. Actually, when when I was modeling this this uh, model, and I I was thinking. I can't uh, wait to see it finished and to paint that teeth uh, in the front and eyes and it uh, looks uh, it looks uh, awesome especially when you turn out some uh, post-processing effects and some good lightings in your maps it will pop out very very good and this is the standard camouflage, camouflage skin with uh, the same kind of decals maybe for your woodland maps and this is the special skin that I did for this model it's a, like a scaly things think uh, like a snake snake pattern I call this skin King Cobra we have some cool looking snake on the sides and some scales on the sides and yeah it, it looks very very nice so uh, this uh, version of the helicopter it has uh, two hellfires and two stingers on each side uh, because of this add-on so you have a uh, more firepower if you want and with this much uh, firepower it even looks better So yeah, those are the skins. And now let's take a closer look at the blueprint. For uh, we have uh, some values to see. Uh, first of all, we have a rate of fire for the rockets and for the turret. But uh, it may sound silly, but if you want to increase the rate of fire for the rockets, you need to decrease this value. And uh, right now the rocket fire is pretty high and I included this uh, if you want to uh, decrease the rate of fire but also you can increase it 
and rate of fire for turret also so pretty high because it's uh, actually 20 millimeter rotating gatling gun pretty cool stuff and actually uh, this model is rotating in the game so I don't know if I remember to show it but yeah and we have health you can put between 1 and 100 we have health refresh rate that is the rate that is uh, uh, when the um, blueprint is starting to uh, auto heal itself uh, every two uh, every second two points of health is added health refresh cooldown for example when this model is hit or blueprint is hit with the damage eight seconds need to pass without any damage to start refreshing the health or auto heal if you want to disable auto heal just uh, type here zero and auto heal disabled hide uh, health widget that is the health widget for for external view if you don't like it you can change uh, hide it uh, secondary gun overheat gun overheat actually there is a gun mechan uh, gun heat over overheating mechanic in the blueprint so if you want to tweak it to, to make it uh, less or more overheating you can change those values or even disable it by putting to zero uh, we have a skin selection uh, pretty simple thing just select and select skins you don't want or you actually you want to use in your level and you are ready to go so we have a use category that is a category for additional stuff we have a stub wings those are actually two hellfires and two uh, stingers on each side so if you don't like uh, need them in your level you can disable it or enable it use break lock after firing so this is some hard to explain for me but uh, for example we have a stinger targets here and when we acquire this target and we don't destroy it uh, from one hit do you want to break lock or do you want to uh, reacquire the lock basically so for now you don't need to require the lock but if you want it to target it again you uh, you can uh, check this box I don't know how uh, real life guided sting missile works or locking so use vehicle without the character that is uh, the checkbox if you want to use this vehicle without uh, uh, entering it for example you have a level when you want to start right away from this particular vehicle you use this uh, you check this box and use auto possess and everything will work fine uh, engine particles uh, and all that good stuff use invert pitch is self-explanatory use camera shake that is the uh, when you fire this 20 millimeter gun there is a slight shake but uh, I had some complaints when using VR that uh, that is not uh, good so you can if you use VR or if you find it annoying you can disable it also when uh, doing a, a rocket firing you have a slight slight uh, camera shake and you can disable it I keep it enabled because it's a cool effect and I don't have a VR so yeah that is the blueprints and now let's take it in there and see how it behaves uh, we will take this one with additional weapons and right away we have a we have a particle effects engine effects and uh, controlling the helicopter is just like uh, in uh, Battlefield 4 we have those checkpoints that I like to use You can land the helicopter, you can exit out, we have a shutdown in sequence, you can enter it and take it to the air again. For the weapons we have a uh, rocket
and actually uh, if we hop out the chopper the rocket pods are empty there are no rockets but of course we can reload them and just like I said let's make some distance we have a stinger targets Actually, this HUD can be moved with your head in VR, or in this case using mouse and pushing, pushing the right mouse button. And now we don't have any more stingers, but yeah, those are the guided missiles. We have uh, Hellfires also. Destruction in, in Unreal is Unreal. Yeah. Let's make some distance and use our Hellfires again. And for the... Uh, we have a... Turret position. Actually, that's 20 mm gun is pretty... It's some cool stuff in real life we have zoom in zoom out and like I said we have our heat mechanic so actually if you don't uh, use the helicopter it will slow, slowly descend uh, like a slight auto hover but it, it will slowly slowly descend now let's take a cockpit uh, it's a pretty detailed cockpit. Uh, this is the, the obviously pilot position. And let's oops, take a look at the gunner's position. Oh, sorry. Ah, we need to land. So File position, pretty deep of cockpit. We have a gunner's position, also detailed cockpit. And I don't know if you spot it, but actually we have uh, some working gauges. We have a climb rate, we have a working, sorry, that bad. Um, we have a uh, working gauges. We have a. Uh, I risk in this mod when I when I was uh, flying around. I noticed that I don't know. I I want those gauges to be moving. They are sitting around and doing nothing. So I risk in the model and make them move. So we have a uh, airspeed. We have a uh, engine RPM. We have altitude meter, climb rate, and compass. And that bold thing is actually artificial horizon. So I did some researching and make them behave. Well, they look cool. I think that I made some mistakes, but uh, for now they are pretty good. I will, for sure, in the future I will update them. But uh, they bring some realism to the to the model. When you see them, I don't know, just uh, with the glance of your eye and you know that they are working, I don't know, it, it brings more realism to the, to the whole model and to the whole project actually. So, let's 
like more around just like I said it's a responsive flying and actually you can download this project from my uh, from my marketplace page and uh, test it before you use it just uh, to see how if you if you need it in your game the, uh, when you don't load the demo the, this map will open and actually you can fly around and mess it around and see all the details and see if you want to make a purchase I really hope that you do I need a new processor <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching this and I hope that I will see you very soon uh, with the next, next project or uh, next update goodbye